What's up everybody? Here I am with another video and this is a response video to uh, a thread that's going around and it's uh, my 25 of my favorite uh, rock and metal songs. So I thought I'd jump in on that. I watched uh, Mr. Boulder first and then I seen Roger and I don't know how to pronounce your last name but I will post a uh, a link to both channels and their videos in the description below. Um, they showed a bunch of stuff that I probably would have shown as well. Uh, my video, I think I'm going to stick with albums that really got me into metal, to be honest with you. Uh, so it's going to be from the 80s to maybe the early 90s. And all these songs just... Uh, never get old replayable over and over again but uh in the background we're gonna be listening to manila Rhodes' crystal logic Most of these albums are in this vein. There is some thrash in there. I decided to not include any death metal or black metal because I'd have a hell of a hard of a time. Hell of a hard. I'm gonna tell my wife that. I, hell of a hard. <laughs> anyway, um, I'd have a hard time picking on track. So I thought this would be better. Just pick stuff from my youth. Um, first off, my favorite album of all time, of course, Iron Maiden Killers. Murderers in the Rue Morgue is my favorite track off this album. It always has been. I love every song on this album, but that's the highlight for me. Um, I love how it intros in slowly, kind of evil to me, and uh, just a fantastic fucking album. And that song, Murderers in the Room Morgue, is a beast. I love the bass line to that one as well. Uh, next one up will be off this King Diamond album, Abigail, which is uh, Imagine in the Darkness. Um, still, still, I don't know what how to describe that song, but it's my favorite track off this album. It's my favorite King Diamond song. So I decided that's the one I'm gonna pick. I thought about picking a Merciful Fate album, but uh, that song trumps those, even those, even though those are fucking killer songs. But the Mansion in the Darkness from King Diamond off Abigail. <clears throat> Next one up. I had this album for probably since I was in fifth or sixth grade. <laughs> This very copy, Twisted Sister, uh, Stay Hungry. Favorite track on this is Burning Hell. Uh, that's, that song will get stuck in my mind. And um, still one of those classic songs. I know this is glam metal. Uh, a lot of us old folks, entry music was glam metal or metal like this. And uh, there's no shame in it. I love glam metal, and uh, Burning Hell is one of those tracks that uh, <laughs> fucking rules. Um, another one, on, man, this is a good album. Captain Howdy, Street Justice, um, The Beast, but Burning Hell off Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry is a fucking beast. I am going to show some CDs, so I'm going to knock a couple of those out. Um, both, I believe Roger and Mr. Boulder both picked a Rainbow album and Stargazer, um, which is one of my favorites. But I decided to show this one. I wish I had this on vinyl. And uh, Merciful Metal just told me he'd seen a copy of this, but the shipping cost to get it to me would be insane. But uh, Gates of Babylon by Rainbow. 
Uh, it's my favorite Dio performance of all time. I love the lyrics to it. I love the the intro, the bridge. Uh, it's a perfect freaking track. Perfect. And it's the only one that can compete with uh, Stargazer in my eyes. Uh, and this album is just another banger. But Rainbow's Long Live Rock and Roll and Gates of Babylon. Fucking rules. I'll stick with the CDs here. Another one, another Manila Road album. Huge Manila Road fan. I don't have this on wax, but I just happen to have this on CD. But uh, this is The Deluge by Manila Road, and my favorite track on this one is Shadow in the Black. Um, I love it's a kind of a ballady song. It gets real heavy. The drum work in the song, the lyrics. Uh, the vocal performance on this. I know a lot of people don't really like the vocals on this this band, but <clears throat> this is one of those albums that just I love this album to death. And uh, one day I'll have this on vinyl. But just have you really have this freaking digi pack. Let's go to uh, some more wax for a minute. I know a lot of people like to see more wax. Uh, Judas Priest, my favorite track by Judas Priest is on Stained Class, and it's Beyond the Realms of Death. Uh, I don't know what it is about that song, but it's always been my favorite Judas Priest song. I love how it starts out. And you're gonna notice a lot of my favorite tracks are slower songs. And uh, I don't know what that is, but something grabs a hold of me right here. But uh, Beyond the Realms of Death, good grief. It's probably the greatest Judas Priest song ever written, in my opinion. And it fits all this shit right here. So, yes, I love showing these. Not a one I've had for years, this album. Um, I love Holy Diver, but I decided to pick um, uh, The Last in Line by Dio and the title track um, absolutely freaking love that track it's my favorite song on this album I love everything on Holy Diver but this song is a standout off this record and uh, of course this is first press as well I've had this for I don't know how long on Warner Brothers but fucking classic song last in line Man, I'm gonna make a playlist. These every track here. Another one. Uh, I'll have to show ACDC. Uh, I love the movie. Uh, this is a soundtrack, basically, to the movie uh, Maximum Overdrive. And um, you know, I love ACDC, but this is this is my go-to. I've had this CD for one of the first CDs I ever bought. But. My favorite track on this is for those about to rock. Uh, we salute you. And the intro riff is just so haunting. And uh, just one of my favorite songs of all time, especially by ACDC. But this is the Who Made Who album, by the way, or soundtrack, or whatever you want to call this one. Because it's got. It's got um, Shook Me All Night Long off of Back in Black, Hell's Bells. Uh, I love uh, all the instrumentals, Ride On, with, uh, I think his name was Bon Scott. I can't remember. Fantastic album. Digging Deep, another, this is First Press as well. Queensryche. Um, oh man, this is one classic album right here. Favorite song on this is uh, Take Hold of the Flame. And uh, decided to pick this album. I, I like the EP, but um, I do love Take Hold of the Flame. And um, there's another track, No Sanctuary, I love off this album. But uh, Take Hold of the Flame, of course, it's on the greatest hits. But The Warning by Queen's Right, Take Hold of the Flame. Fucking killer song. Show another one. Um, this one is a fucking beast. Wish I had this on vinyl as well. Vicious Rumors, Digital Dictator. 
Uh, favorite track on this and favorite song is Worlds and Machines. Um, I guess this is uh, American Power Metal. A little bit of thrash, maybe a little bit of speed. I'm not sure what to classify this band, but they're their own. It's just another fantastic freaking... I love the vocals on this. Love the, everything about that track. So, I don't know where I'm at. I'm not counting down, but uh, don't need to. Vicious Rumors, Digital Dictator, Fair Track, World, and Machines. Another old album I've had forever. Another first press. Uh, Metal Church, The Dark, and the title track, The Dark. Uh, Man, it's a, one of my favorites of all time. I, I love the first album and uh, every track on it, but I had to pick this one. Uh, the Dark is one of those. Kind of feels like it should have been on a debut, to be honest with you, but it's perfect. Love that album cover. Always like the eyes there, that creature staring at you in the dark. But yes, fucking killer, fucking killer. Um, got one CD left. I don't have this on wax either. Um, In the Light by Led Zeppelin, the official cool graffiti. Uh, one of my favorite tracks by Led Zeppelin of all time. And um, I just seen this vinyl the other day and I thought about picking it up. And this is the old CD I bought when they redid this back in the day I got the whole collection and uh, of course it's double disc long ass fucking album but yeah in the lights I love how the, the it's haunting every time I hear that track I think of fog and mist in the uh, moonlight for some reason and that's what it takes me to that kind of place but uh, Led Zeppelin's physical graffiti in the light Fucking crazy ass track. Another album I've had for decades. Uh, Coven, Blessed is the Black. And my favorite track on this album is Out of the Grave. It's a slow ballad, but the vocals are killer. Just a classic heavy metal album. Almost black and metal, heavy, traditional heavy metal, I guess speed metal a little bit but uh i love the vocal performance on that the guitar work it, and it just fits all this stuff right here this fantastic fucking uh, song so yeah out of the black or <laughs> yeah blessed is the black by coven and the song out of the grave i'm gonna post links to all these because some of these some people may not know but most of these you will uh, next one, man, if I can get it out of there. Uh, Misfits Earth AD, favorite track by the Misfits as Death Comes Ripping. Um, I love this whole freaking album. This this album's not uh, very long. The song's really short. We all know the Misfits, but favorite album by them and definitely Death Comes Ripping is my favorite track. Off Earth AD by the Misfits. Fucking smasher. Man, I love that song. Next one up. Now, Slayers, Live and Dead. Uh, I love the version of uh, Death by the Sword. Or Die by the Sword, sorry. My favorite track by Slayer of all time. And I love the version on this album in particular more aggressive, eviler, heavier, and uh, always been one of my favorites, so Die by the Sword, man that fucking song rules, fucking rules, kind of getting into uh, some, a little bit of thrash here, favorite Megadeth song of all time is going to be My Last Words, and it's going to be off this album, it was an easy pick. Um, this this album right here I love all their albums but to be honest with you the first two albums are 
are the best in my opinion. But my last words, I love uh, the drive in that track, the lyrics in that track, the bass line in that track. Man, this is a fucking killer track. But so, Megadeth, peace sells, but who's buying? My last words, fucking awesome song. Next one up is gonna be one of the greatest albums of all time, in my opinion. Um, Halloween's Keeper of the Seven Keys, part one. Favorite track on this is the epic title track, Halloween. Um, it's dark, it's progressive. The vocals on it are freaking excellent. The guitar solos on it are the greatest. And uh, it, I'd be doing myself a disservice not <laughs> putting that freaking track on this list. Halloween, Keeper of the Seven Keys, and the title track, Halloween. Uh, next one up. It's my favorite thrash song. One of my favorite thrash songs of all time is on this album right here. Nuclear Assault's Handle With Care and it's Critical Mass. The riff in that, the groove, the bass sounds so freaking awesome. I love the vocals on it. Um, still, had to include it. I remember uh, one of the first thrash metal albums I ever heard is, these are, this is among the first five, I guarantee you. Because it would be um, Ride the Lightning by Metallica, um, Years of Decay by Overkill, Anthrax Among the Living, this one, and Rigor Mortis, uh, self titled. But fucking fantastic song. Critical Mass by Nuclear Assault off the Handle with Care album. <laughs> and next one up, people will be surprised. Uh, another favorite thrash track of all time is on this Hydra Vein album. Uh, Rather Death Than False Faith. Uh, favorite track on this is Rabid, the opening track. Um, definitely, if you don't know this thrash album, this is a thrash band from the UK. That track freaking is one of the best thrash metal songs of all time. Um, one of my favorite albums. One of my favorite albums, but Rapid is a freaking banger. Everything's trying to slide out. That's not good. This one's a double LP. May have to listen to this one too. Definitely gonna make that playlist. Fucking killer. Rapid. Yes. Now Roger showed this one, but I have to agree with him. I could not not show this uh hall of the mountain king by sabotage and the title track hall of the mountain king um i love the intro to it um prelude to madness and if you have to listen to both those tracks the intro and then into uh the hall of the mountain king to get the full scope of the track in my opinion um, this one i have the first press of it somewhere I couldn't find it. This is come across this one reissue first. So I decided to show that. Um, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I definitely looked that song up. That's one that everybody should know. I don't know why I just told you guys that. You guys should know this one. All the Mountain King by Sabotage. Uh, next one up is my favorite Black Sabbath song of all time. And it's on this one off Sabotage, and it's Megalomania. Uh, always been my favorite track, always will be my favorite track. I love everything by Black Sabbath. Uh, almost picked another album, but I don't have it, so I didn't. But uh, Megalomania is definitely tied with that track, and it's off the Headless Cross album, and it's the title track off Headless Cross. I love that track, I wish I had that fucking album. But Megalomania, is uh, progressive. I love the vocals. I love Ozzy's vocals on it, the lyrics, the doomy aspect of the track. God, gonna have to listen to this one now. 
Sabotage by Black Sabbath and Megalomania. Next one up um, is by this band, Rush, and then my favorite Rush song is Witch Hunt. Um, it's a dark track. I love everything about it. It's got the best lyrics written of all time, in my opinion. His lyrics really paint a picture of of what that track's about. So um, I wanted to pick a couple other ones, but Witch Hunt. It's my favorite because this is a fucking awesome album by Rush, which is mo Moving Pictures. And I love every Rush song, to be honest with you, but that's my favorite. Witch Hunt by Rush off Moving Pictures. Next one up. I only got a couple left. <laughs> this video is becoming too long. It's going to be off this one. Uh, Bath Ree's uh, Fine Day to Die. Um, I love that you have to listen to the full scope of the song with the intro. Odin's right over to Nordland. And uh, of course I got the CD. This picture disc is a pain in the ass because it's got so much ba background noise. But it's the only uh, Bath Ree album I don't have a, just a regular copy. I guess but it's my favorite bathroom track of all time I think it's most people's off the blood fire death album but fucking classic fucking classic I'm day to die by Bathory favorite track by Ozzy is off this one Yes, and it's the title track, A Diary of a Madman. Um, I love this song structure. It's very unique. There's some weird time signatures they do in there, like a 4-7. Um, I know the uh, intro, I think he took it from a classical piece, Randy Rhodes did, but I, I love how his approach is. Um, the song is epic. It's an epic track. And it's probably the best Aussie song, in my opinion. And there's so many great tracks on this one, but Believer's another one, Sado. Uh, but it's Diary of a Madman. It's my favorite Aussie track of all time. Always will be. And last but not least, somebody was probably wondering when this album was going to show up. I haven't seen anybody show this album. I guess nobody likes it anymore. I don't know what it is. But Phantom Lord by Metallica is my favorite Metallica song of all time. This is my favorite Metallica album of all time because it's got Cliff, Wor Cliff Burton's finest work on it. No Remorse, Seek and Destroy, Metal Mush, but Phantom Lord is my favorite song ever. So Metallica's Kill Em All, Phantom Lord. That concludes it. So that's 25 of my favorite songs of all time. Metal and rock. Man, I wanted to do a death metal and black metal version. May do that. I'm thinking about it. Y'all have a good one.